Welcome to the Soundbridge Music Featured Artist Interview. In this series, we get to know front range artists who not only shaped the local music scene, but who joined with Soundbridge Music in its mission to use the power of music to improve the lives of individuals and bring communities together. We're happy to be joined today by the great Longmont band Ten Buck Sixer. She was shaking all over like she didn't know what to do. All right, well, I got Ten Buck Sixer here, our Soundbridge featured artist for June. And uh, we we're stoked to have you guys and just want to learn a little bit more about who you are, what your music is like, and what you're doing here in Longmont and the Front Range, Colorado. Um, so maybe we could just start out and uh, just go around and just tell us about your name and, and who you, what you do in the band. Um, I'm Matt Cardenas, I play drums. Cool. I'm Dale Hoffman, I play keyboards and backup vocals. Rob Gonzalez, shenanigans and guitar and other odds and ends and stuff. I'm Amy and vocals. And guitar and songwriting. Yeah. Okay. And songwriting. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I'm Bob Wood and um, I play guitar and sing and write many of the songs. <laughs> <laughs> Songwriter. I'm gonna write all. I'm Mike Pesci and I play uh, bass guitar and sometimes I get to play my ukulele and my guitar as well. Nice. Right. And how long have you guys been a band? I would say in this Is lineup maybe last August we played our first show. Maybe? Yeah, we started in July. Last July. So a year? Yeah. A little under a year. A little under a year. These two guys have played together for how long? Over 11 years now. Yeah. Well, yeah. Different well, projects. Kid, kids met in preschool. Cascaded out from that. <laughs> How would you describe your music? <laughs> uh, you know, a little bit of rock, a little bit of folk. Mm -hmm. Rocky, some humor. Rocky folk. A lot of humor. Rocky Lots folk. of humor. Yeah. Um, Introspective. Some of the things I like about it is it's not very, uh, I don't think it fits into any specific genre or anything like that. It kinda, We're not talking a lot about uh, blue skies and going for walks in the woods. Except when there's might be a body there or something, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, very eccentric. Okay. Um, music, very, very eccentric. Cool. Uh, and you have a big group. Um, are you playing a lot of shows this summer? Oh, we got a few. Yeah. We try up. to keep it um, maximum of once a month local. Cool. Cause just not to overexpose. And we got to, and we're busy with other stuff, of course. And we've been keep, keeping up with that for. Shoot, since November last year, yeah, Jan or before that even. Um, we have two shows coming up on June thirtieth on the same day. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, El Hag uh, group that has their annual fundraiser called their label show, and we're playing that. And uh, what's the other? The inaugural the inaugural Loco, Longmont Loco, Loco yeah, Fest. Loco, Loco Fest. All Longmont bands. Brian Rezac's thing, and that's happening the same day. How would you describe uh, some of your influences in your songwriting or in your music? Any inspirations for you guys? Uh, I've always liked uh, lyrics. You know, I love writing lyrics, and so I've always just uh, gravitated towards the music I enjoy. You know, the story, uh, exactly. like John Prine, uh, Warren Zevon, mm -hmm. um, just countless. Zappa. Countless great music. Zappa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think Bob's lyrics paint like the biggest part of the picture. Uh, we kind of do things around that, and the songs develop over time from there. Same with the songs we do with Amy's, and I have one song that we play right now. Um, I feel like they kind of build over time, but they start with that whole very eccentric, like we were saying, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it's cool. We've added, um, like I said, they've done songs forever. He's got some good songs written, and then but we we're, we enjoy adding Mike's songs, Amy's songs. Matt and I just. Yeah. Follow along. <laughs> <laughs> but the lyrics really help kind of the dynamics of the songs and what we do in the songs, I think. Yeah. yeah. Some of them are local themed too, like oh, yeah. Flood Song and uh, others. That have Canyon, them. Floods, what else do we write about local? Go the boulder for Longmont. Yeah, yeah. 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 going the boulder for <laughs> supplies, <laughs> um, Longmont Revenge. And <laughs> Where are you hoping to go with the music? What are your, your goals or your dreams? I want to play Madison Square Garden personally. <laughs> yeah, cool. I'm not kidding. I'm trying to. <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Uh, we haven't that's talked that's about question. You know, one thing we haven't done is like, dude, let's have a band meeting. Let's lay out our goals. Oh, we do share intentions. Yeah, we share our stuff all the time. Yeah, camera now. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. Like, we'll yeah. send out texts like, hey, let's try this festival. And hey, yeah. let's, let's think about this venue. And I think what Dale said goes back to that still. Um, the intentions are to have fun and get better. Mm -hmm. And the shows have been getting more and more fun as we're getting better and tired together. So I think it's just kind of see what happens for me. But um, that's my opinion. But the music well, scene out here is so what's the word, you know, beyond fantastic, great, et cetera, et cetera. The players out here, the, the venues that support um, live music, Soundbridge happening, I mean, all the, it, it's, it's amazing. You know? I think I'm the only one who was born and raised in this town and, and we hold it, it, was, it was never anything like this growing up, but yeah. it's turned into just an incredible music scene. It's, it really it's just is. fun, it's just fun to be here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I never thought that I say Longmont's really cool, <laughs> but it actually is now. So. Well, it's like been in the last ten years. Yeah. Your song was prophetic about Boulder will have to ride the bus to us. Yes. Yeah, and Sombridge is really trying to be a focal point for for all for all the scene of, of players and musicians. So we're going to start doing more meetups and you know, opportunities for for everybody in the uh, community to know each other and jam and network with each other and together. I mean, not that uh, that's necessarily a need because it's already happening, but uh, no, it's, you, what, what you add to the whole scene is really cool too. I mean, yeah, cool. it really is. Well, um, excited to check out your shows this month and in the future and uh, excited to see where you guys all go and um, thanks for being our Soundbridge artist this June. Well, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. So if you haven't seen 10 Bucks Sixer perform, check them out in June at the Loco Music Fest on June 30th at 4.45 at Bootstrap Brewing. If you're interested in learning more about Soundbridge Music and becoming a part of Music for Change, check us out at soundbridgemusic.org.